Today we're gonna to be making some wholesome snacks. Snacks that are gonna keep you energized between meals and that serve as the perfect brain food for if you're studying or working. We're gonna be making an assortment of snacks in today's video, six of them in total. Some of them you can make ahead of time and put it in the fridge or freezer to enjoy later on if you'd like. And I wanna take a brief moment to thank Audible for partnering with us on today's video, but I'm gonna chat more about them at the end. For now, let's get started on making the recipes. First up, we're making a two minute, four ingredient chocolate almond spread recipe. For this, we're gonna need half a cup of almond butter to start, adding it to a bowl along with two tablespoons each of cocoa or cacao powder some maple syrup, and some plant-based milk. Then we're gonna give it all a mix, and that's pretty much it. This chocolate almond spread can be kept in the fridge for up to a week, and you can spread it onto some toast with some sliced bananas or sliced peaches or some fresh berries, or you can stir it into your oatmeal or dip some fresh fruits into it. As you can see, it's a super easy recipe to whip together, and it's super delicious too. The next two recipes are ranch roasted chickpeas and ranch roasted potato wedges. But to make them, first we have to make some homemade ranch mix that takes just a couple minutes to whip together using some spices from the pantry. So to a small jar, we're gonna add two tablespoons of dried parsley and two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. A tablespoon each of dried chives, garlic powder, and onion powder half of a tablespoon of dried dill, and a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. Then we're gonna give it a mix, and you're good to go. Now that the mix is prepared, we can make our ranch-flavored roasted chickpeas. We're first gonna rinse a jar of chickpeas and then add it to a baking tray and drizzle on a couple of teaspoons of vegetable oil. Toss it to coat, then add a generous tablespoon of ranch mix, stirring it again until everything is well coated with the mix, and then we're gonna pop it in the oven to bake at 200 Celsius or 390 Fahrenheit for about 25 to 30 minutes, stopping once halfway to give it a stir. Some people do like these more crunchy, other people like it less crunchy, so stop it early and give it a test to see how you like it, keeping in mind it does harden more as it cools. And when you've removed it from the oven, do let it cool completely before serving it to enjoy. These roasted chickpeas also work incredibly well as an alternative to croutons for salads or soups. The other recipe we can make with a ranch mix are these potato wedges. We're first gonna cut about four medium potatoes into one centimeter or half inch wedges with the skin intact for extra fiber. And then we're gonna drizzle on a couple teaspoons of vegetable oil, mix, then a tablespoon of ranch mix, tossing again, just like we did for the chickpeas, and same story, popping it in the oven at 200 Celsius or 390 Fahrenheit for about 25 to 35 minutes this time, flipping it once halfway. If you're looking for another idea on how to use this ranch mix, you can also mix it with some vegan mayo to serve it as a dip. And when the potatoes are golden, you can remove it from the oven and enjoy it plain on its own or with some ketchup or with that ranch mayo dip. Next up, we're making a watermelon pizza. This is the kind of pizza you could eat every day. And for this, we're gonna need a smaller sized watermelon, which we're gonna cut into two centimeter or one inch thick rounds. We're then gonna cut each round into about six to eight slices and then top the watermelon with your chosen toppings. Here we use some thick coconut yogurt, spreading it out over each slice. And then we topped it with some fresh raspberries, some fresh blueberries, a sprinkle of pomegranate seeds, some toasted coconut flakes, pumpkin seeds, and some fresh mint leaves. And that's it. You can make it tropical by adding mango or kiwi or some crushed toasted nuts. Get creative with this one. It's a wicked awesome treat for kids as well. It's just like a fruit salad, but in handheld form. For this next recipe, we're gonna whip together these five ingredient fudgy energy balls. I've referred to them in videos before, but I've never showed you how I make it. So here we go. First up, you can soak the raw nuts for a couple hours, which is totally optional. It just helps our bodies absorb more of the nutrients. And to a food processor, we're gonna add a cup of soft dates, along with one cup of walnuts and half a cup of cashews, a quarter cup of cocoa or cacao powder, and an optional pinch of salt to bring out that chocolatey flavor a bit more. Then we're gonna blend it in a food processor for a minute or so, making sure not to overmix. When it's blended together just well enough, we're then gonna add in two tablespoons or 20 grams of dairy-free dark chocolate, 
blending it for a few seconds more so that the chocolate is coarsely chopped into the mixture. We're then gonna remove the blade from the food processor and using your hands, form the mixture into small balls. You can then roll these orbs into shredded coconut flakes for a pretty presentation or just serve it plain as is. Or to give it a bit of a truffle look, you can also roll it in some cocoa powder. This recipe is one that I posted to the blog back in 2015. It was one of the first recipes to ever go on the blog. And to this day, it's one of my favorite snacks. Just five ingredients, super wholesome, super satisfying. And the best part is you can make it ahead of time. I like to store it in an airtight container in the freezer. It keeps for a couple months and it's a perfect grab and go snack for whenever you need it. For the final recipe, we're keeping it super simple with this two ingredient snack that's perfect for warmer months. First, we're gonna wash and drain some blueberries. To a bowl, we're gonna add a cup of unsweetened plant-based yogurt, and then a handful at a time, we're gonna drop the blueberries into the yogurt and give it a mix. Using a fork, take out each blueberry one by one and place it onto a baking tray lined with baking paper. Then we're gonna pop the tray into the freezer for about 30 minutes or until it's fully frozen. And when you've removed it from the freezer, peel the berries off the parchment paper and enjoy it right away. Placing any extras in an airtight container back into the freezer to snack on later on. So today we've made both sweet and savory recipes in hopes that there's something amidst it all that you might be interested in giving a try. And as usual, if you do, be sure to tag us on Instagram so that we can see. And if you enjoyed today's video, it always means a lot when you give it a thumbs up. And thank you again to Audible for partnering with us on today's video. You guys know I am an absolute audiobook worm. I have been for the last five years since my sister introduced me to it. She came to me raving about a book called Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. But I had told her I just didn't have time to be reading books. And she said that with Audible, you could listen to books as opposed to having to sit down and read them. And she said I would get the book for free if I just signed up. So I did. And I started to listen to it on my commutes to and from work. And it's now one of my favorite audiobooks, and I have been hooked on Audible ever since. Right now, for example, I'm listening to two books. One of them is called Sapiens. It's incredibly insightful by Yuval Harari. And the other book is really comedic, really uplifting. It's called Mentors by Russell Brand. The guy is hilarious. And what I love about audiobooks is that you can just learn new things while you're cooking or cleaning, commuting, just hanging out, waiting for somebody. So if you think you might be interested in getting your own free audiobook, whatever one you choose, plus a 30-day free membership of Audible, visit the link in the description box below and Audible members now also get one free audiobook per month plus two free Audible originals. All right, guys, I think that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and Pickup Limes signing off. We'll see you in the next video.